All right, thanks for uh, stopping by. Today's gonna be an awesome day for your golf game. <sighs> Talking backswing, let's go. Beautiful sunny day today hitting directly into the sunlight. So that's fine because we're talking backswing. We don't need to see the ball fly. We're working on our backswing so we can have consistency uh, and get our game in much, much better shape today. And as always, thanks so much for tuning in. Be sure to hit that like button, share the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Hit that bell so you don't miss anything. And all the links to the products I use, recommend, stuff like that. There's discounts are in the video description below. There's usually a little triangle thing over here. You gotta click it, open it. Some people can't find it very easily, but uh, it's right next to the description of the video, the title of the video, it's a little triangle thing. Depends how you're watching the video, but that's what you click, opens up everything, scroll down, you'll figure it out, hopefully. It's below, um, all right. Let's hop on to the, my five keys of the back swing. Okay, uh, key number one. Oh, and all of these tips can be applied to every club, or should be applied to every club in the bag. Even your putter, sort of your putter. You just kind of adjust it accordingly. But uh, that's, the, that's the thing, apply to everything. So key number one is you have to have some type of trigger to start the swing, okay? I don't care what it is, you have to have something. So, you know, Jack Nicholas kind of went, you know, did a little thing, everybody has a little something. So for this video, my trigger is gonna be just a little, a little forward move with my hips right here. That's what I like, right? Here. Boom, and then I'm gonna start my back. Move. And if you don't have anything, just invent something so you have something, okay? Doesn't matter, but try to do something where you get a little body motion first. You could blink your eyes, you could think a thought, you could just squeeze your lips together, I don't care. Doesn't necessarily matter, but you have to have something that says, go. It's kind of like that starting gun in a race. Boom, and you go, right? That's the trigger. You need a trigger. So here's mine. Just this little, hmm. That's it, simple, okay? Have the trigger. And the key about a trigger is, you might need to switch it up to find the one that works for you. Like that hip move might not work for you. You might need to do something with your hands. You might need a little this. Find, mess around with it. Try a whole bunch of stuff. Just get crazy with your thoughts because Soon you'll find something like, ooh, that really works, right? Some people are like, don't. We'll try that, you know, try things, okay? Try it. Go. Yeah. Whatever it is, get your trigger, and then, and then we'll go to step two. Okay, we're gonna do these on course now, so that'll be, uh, that'll be great. Step two is super exciting because here's what I want you to think about. Uh, let's say you're playing tennis or something and somebody serves it to you and what would you say is the first thing you move to return the serve? Is your hips, your, your arm, your, your it, you see what I'm saying? Like that would never make any sense. What we're gonna do is you have to move everything at the same time all of it moves together okay don't think don't think i'm starting with my hands i'm starting with my shoulders hips duh, duh. You see, don't get caught in the weeds here you want to move everything right if somebody threw something at you you'd be, you wouldn't say oh let me first move my knees down and back up you, you, it, does, it doesn't work you're gonna think got my trigger trigger move everything Trigger, move everything. Hopefully that one's not too difficult and you should be able to get that with a little bit of practice. Just stop thinking about all the, the tiny little deals. Just focus on just 
You're not going to move at all. Come on. Okay, next up. And don't get worried about, okay, there's five things to think about in your backswing because I don't want you to do that. What I want you to do is practice each one individually and slowly they will all come together. And chances are you really only need one or two of these to kind of complete your backswing where you're making the biggest mistakes. So do them all, practice them all and figure out which ones you need to keep and think about. And then just think about one at a time during your round or during each shot, pick one, okay? And this one is, is great because so many times what happens is on the backswing, we get our hands too far out here and we get disconnected. So what I want you to think about on your backswing is keeping your hands just tight to your body. Keep them really close to your back leg and let that be the, the, the point at which you say, okay, I'm sitting close to my back leg, at least until I get past it and then you can do whatever you want. But really keep those hands tight to your leg. Don't let them get out here. You don't want that. Practice swing it right in here. Tight to my body, right in here. That's what I do when I'm just doing my practice swing. That's it. I'm just focused on it right in here. That's my little practice swing. That's it. Just a feel. That will really help you stay connected in the golf swing. And that's a really critical part of the backswing. Don't get disconnected. Hands tight to that body. It's a good one. If you only focus on one of these, you need all of them. But that's a good one. Come on. All right, number four. And this one kind of goes with the previous tip, okay? And it's this. You're keeping the hands close to your body. And what I want you to do is I don't want you to rotate the club face on that first part of the takeaway, okay? So we're keeping a very square face right through here. Now, the reason your hands kind of could get away from your body is because you rotate early and you're, you're whipping that club wide open and that pulls your hands away from your body. So we want to not rotate the hands at all, at least to here. Now, if you're not a rotator, then you're fine to here and just keep it there. But if you want to rotate the forearms and stuff open a little bit, do it after you get to this point in your swing. Then you could rotate a little bit and get that club there. That's okay. I don't mind that so much. But don't rotate it first, okay? We don't want to start the swing rotating. We're starting with the whole body, but keep that club face square for that three, four feet back. That way, that way when you return it, it's actually gonna return the same way you take it back. So we want it square as long as possible through the ball. But if you whip it open first, when you come through, you're gonna whip it closed at the end. And too much whipping open and closed is gonna destroy your life on and off the golf course. So don't do that. Square face for the, at least till you're here, then you can do whatever you want. I'm not so picky after that point, okay? It will help you keep it in play and your misses will be a lot better than if you're doing other stuff out there. I got one more for you. Let's go do it. Okay, final piece of the puzzle here. And what conventional, a lot of golf teaching, conventional golf teaching says, take it back low. Take it back low. Here's what happens. I'm gonna take it back low. And that's gonna happen. We don't want that to happen. You see, when you take it back that low, or you think low, you whip that club way too far to the inside. And then you're stuck. You're back here and it's hard to, it's hard to get back at the ball. And you're gonna do this, and you're gonna come out of it, and you're gonna hit it thin, fat, right, left. It's gonna be a disaster. And that's because you've been trained to take it back low. And if you take it back low, like this, keeping that club low to the ground, you're way in here. And then that elbow does this, a lot of bad things happen. If you take it back low, 
the other way, then you're way out here because you're trying to keep it low straight back and you get your hands way too far away from your body because you're trying to take it back low. And you, you pretty much don't want that either. So we got to stop thinking low. Now, I'm not saying go high. I'm just saying do what your body naturally wants to do. If you just turn and let your arms hang loose, where are they going? Right there. That's where I want them. Just, if I just did this, they're not gonna go, Ugh. like that's not natural. It's just right here, okay? So you've gotta let your hands come up a little bit, right in here. Get them right to your shoulder. So just stop, if you just stop thinking low to the ground with that club head, you're gonna be fine. You want your hands low by your legs, but then let that club work up a little bit as you rotate, okay? And that's really gonna help you out in terms of that first part of your back swing. So I'm just letting it come up. I'm not thinking here. Don't do that. Then you're really gonna be able to, to hit good solid shots. You're not gonna come too steep and hit down on it because you're just naturally letting it all happen. And because you've done everything else, your body's rotating correctly, you're all synced up, things are moving in the correct direction, and you're gonna hit much, much more consistent shots. All right, thanks so much for watching. I hope this video has helped your backswing out. If you want more tips, click this video here, or if you wanna start our five stroke challenge to lower your score, click right over here. Plus, there's a free practice plan for this in the link in the description below. So be sure to check that out. Love you guys. See you in the next video.